Okay, this is question 2.11 part B and we have this input signal and the impulse response of this LTI system is e to the power of minus t times u of t and this u of t is a uh, unit step function all right I want to calculate the uh, I want to compute the system response to this signal, to this input signal, and we know that equals the convolution between xt and ht, and we define it like x tau times h of t minus tau d tau, and if I expand that and replace the value of the signals, we have e to the power of minus tau times u of tau times e to the power of minus tau oh. I should replace t by t minus tau okay so e to the power of minus t minus tau times u of t minus tau d tau all right so let's first simplify this. I can write this e to the power of minus t minus tau like this e to the power of minus t times e to the power of minus of minus tau, which is e to the power of tau. And we have this e to the power of minus tau here. So the multiplication of these three equals e to the power of minus t because e to the power of minus tau times e to the power of tau equals e to the power of minus tau plus tau and that's e to the power of zero and that's one so I can simplify this integral and write it like this okay and since this e to the power of minus t is not a function of tau, I can take it out and put it behind the integral. So yt equals e to the power of minus t times integral of minus infinity to infinity of u of tau times u of t minus tau d tau. Okay? But this u tau is a unit step function and we know u of tau equals 1 if tau is 0 or larger than 0 and it is 0 if tau is smaller than 0 okay so if I uh, replace that then I can write this integral in the form of sum of two integrals 1 from minus infinity to 0 of u tau times u of t minus tau d tau and the second one from 0 to infinity of u of tau u of t minus tau d tau okay and well we can replace the value of u tau here tau is from minus infinity to zero so this u tau is zero and that means the whole this integral is zero and this u tau here because tau is in the range of zero to infinity then this u tau is one so I can say y of t equals e to the power of minus t times zero plus integral of zero to infinity of u of t minus tau times d tau okay and we know that this u t minus tau equals 1 if t minus tau is larger than 0 and that means if tau is smaller than uh, is smaller than t and larger than 0 but we have already made that assumption here so if tau is between 0 and 
the t, the value of this step function is this unit of step function is one. Otherwise, for tall smaller than zero or for tall larger than t, the value of the signal is uh, the value of the function is zero. Okay, but we already made assumption here. We already made that assumption that tall is positive. Okay, bear that in mind. We will use this later on. So I can write this integral then as sum of two integrals e to the power of minus t times integral from 0 to t of u of t minus tau d tau plus integral from t to infinity of u of t minus tau d tau. All right, again here. This u t minus tau is zero, and here this u t minus tau is one. So I can write this integral equal to the e to the power of minus t times integral of zero to t of d tau. One times d tau, but I don't need to write that one. Okay. So again. Bear that in mind, as I said, this is for positive values of tau. So that means since since uh, t is po tau is positive and tau here is between 0 and t, then that means t itself is positive, okay? Right, so y t equals e to the power of minus t times integral of 0 to t of d tau, or integral of d tau is tau and the range is tau equals 0 to tau equals t so this equals e to the power of minus t times t minus 0 and it is e to the power of minus t times t and as I said this is for t positive okay and instead of saying that instead of mentioning that this is the system response for t uh, greater than or equal to zero uh, instead we can use impulse we can use a unit impulse function unit step function and write yt in this format you can say yt is t times e to the power of minus t, I just uh, took this t behind the e to the power of minus t, times u of t, okay, because u of t is 1 if t is positive and it is 0 if t is negative and that's what we wanted actually, so one more time, this is the result for yt, uh, or I can say yt here is t e to the power of minus t if t is positive but if t is negative then it is zero so instead of saying that in this format we can use this format so they're both equivalent